Maureen Baznicki and Cindy Barkway have been back to New York many times in the decades since their husbands were killed. But this trip is among the most difficult, the most put off, fearing the emotional toll as both had to sift through old family photos to donate to the soon to open National Memorial. It was emotional for me going through the, the, the photos too. Um, but it's something that, that we have to do. At Ground Zero, workers are finishing off the new memorial. From above, you can see the footprints of the fallen towers, now giant pools. The memorial is the only part of the new World Trade Center complex that will be ready in time for the 10th anniversary. Maureen and Cindy's photos will be housed here, a vast tribute to the victims of 9-11. Visitors can select individual names and hear recorded messages from the families left behind. Andy was the greatest father. He was very, very involved with the boys. So I think one of the reasons I sort of avoided going through this before as I knew it would be a long process going through all the pictures. And, uh, but there are, you know, a lot of fun memories that you come across, but also makes it sad as well. For years, Maureen volunteered at the 9-11 Tribute Center, even giving tours of Ground Zero, but stopped when it became too much. Her focus now is establishing a National Day of Remembrance in Canada and a large memorial to honor the 24 Canadians killed. Right now, there's only this plaque in Ottawa. This was a day that, that we'll never forget. Um, and we need uh, a monument in Canada from their hotel overlooking the site of their husband's death, both women turn to the future. We love to laugh. <laughs> we don't want to be 9-11 um, victims for the rest of our life. And do you see the American flag down there? First though, there is one more trip to this city for the ceremony a month from now, remembering 10 years since so many lives were lost. David Common, CBC News, New York.